Hi everybody, my name is Sean O'Kane with Chip Estimate TV and we're at CDN Live 2014. We're here to discuss Samsung's expertise in deep submicron manufacturing, enabling customers to design and quickly design exciting new chips at the most advanced process nodes. With me today is Kelvin Lowe, Senior Marketing Director with Foundry Services with Samsung, and you're going to talk a little bit more in depth about uh, the 14 nanometer FinFET readiness. Good morning, Sean. Good morning. So what are some of the challenges uh, when designing chips at 14 nanometer uh, FinFET technology? A uh, very good question to start our conversation. Um, so obviously, very exciting times with FinFET. Mm -hmm. uh, it is one of the, uh, I would say, major innovation for some time now. Uh, it promises uh, extreme low power with high performance. But again, uh, to design to a new architecture. So we're talking about from two-dimensional two dimensional to a three-dimensional device architecture. One has to understand how to cope with, let's say, new physics of the uh, technology. Mm -hmm. uh, one has to understand discrete nature of the FinFET devices. Uh, one also has to probably capitalize on early availability of IPs to minimize uh, 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 and minimize time to design. Yeah, yes, yes, yes. And so how is Samsung helping customers through this migration process to 14 nanometer? Yes, um, Samsung provides access to the technology early, especially to lead adopters who would like to understand the technology in advance. Um, so we provide them enough data so that they could comprehend and understand the important aspects of the technology. Mm -hmm. uh, aside from that, Samsung also provides PDK, uh, where then the designers could then evaluate the technology, mm -hmm. uh, design initial IPs on the technology, and then again before they launch a product design. Okay, so as you know, the days of just handing over uh, a chip designer, pretty much long gone. So how does Samsung work with its customers to ensure first time silicon success? Very much so. I think uh, these days it's very difficult to just hand out a design to the fab and then for us to manufacture wafers. Uh, so we work very closely with the customers uh, mm -hmm. in multi-phase, I would say, collaboration fashion. Uh, from the initial design phase where we provide access to technology data, PDK access, moving on to providing them design IPs uh, for, from standard cells, memories, IOs, and more complex IPs. Mm -hmm. uh, moving to the next step, we actually enable them through silicon shuttles uh, where we run periodically to allow customers to validate their IPs. Mm. And again, we also have design services team where we help customers uh, in the product design phase uh, mm. before they launch the product uh, into our fabs. Perfect, so just to sum everything up, what are the benefits of using Samsung's uh, foundry mm. business, uh, especially at the 14 nanometer level? Yes, Samsung has been in Foundry for many years. Uh, we now better understand what the market requires. We are improving our services. Uh, we are investing and continuing to invest in technology and capacity. Uh, specifically at 14 nanometer, uh, we are providing more value of our FinFET technology, mm -hmm. uh, especially in terms of dye area scaling. Mm -hmm. So that's one area that customers have asked us continuously for more value, and we are mm -hmm. providing them then. Excellent. Yeah. Well said. Thank you so much uh, for joining us. For Kelvin Lowe, Senior Director of Marketing Foundry, Samsung Foundry, my name is Sean O'Kane. We'll see you next time on Chip Estimate TV.